Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it's wonderful to be here. It's a wonderful day. And I just want to thank everybody for being here. I want to thank David Schmidt, LifeWave, and all of us for what this community has brought to us. And without you guys, there's no LifeWave. When Lori asked me to speak about a month ago, I declined. Um, it's not my favorite thing to do, to be on stage. I'm a talker, but not in front of a bunch of people. And Lori's one person you don't say no to, more than once. So when she asked me again, then she told me that, you know, my story, you know, resonated with people and they really needed to hear it. So that's why I decided to do it. I've nicknamed her Lori the Pistol, but anyway. So my story start, started with Lifeway back in 2019. I got a phone call in that summer, it was June 28th, and the voice on the other end of the phone said, have you heard about X39? Well, I hesitated for a second. And I came back and I said, is that like Area 51 where the flying saucers landed? <laughs> I, I had no idea. And um, it was Ron Ledford, my sponsor today, who was a friend of mine. And we'd known each other for about four years. He lived on the East Coast. I lived on the West Coast. And um, he just kept it really simple. He said, I want you to watch this short video and give me your feedback on it a little bit. And so I went ahead and he didn't really elaborate on what it was about. Just give me your feedback. I watched it. And oh my God, little did he know that all through high school, I got A pluses on my report card in science. The other grades didn't do very well then. Science was pretty good. But um, I knew what stem cells were and I knew one day they'd probably be um, the medicine of the future. So called him back up and I said, hey, I said, I'm excited. I'm in, I wanna be in this, you know, I want this for me. And I said, it sounds like it's a network marketing company. Now, I'm not a network marketer. I'm a chimney sweep by trade, and I've done it for 37 years. It's what I still do today. Um, cleaned probably over 50,000 chimneys. And anyway, um, he said, okay. He started to tell me about some of the packages. I said, stop. I said, I know network marketing has big packages. What's the top business building package you have? Because I was excited. You know, when, when I grew up in the 70s, and when... Uh, I used to watch all the uh, Star Treks, all of them, 10 times. And I knew when like Spock and Captain Kirk, you know, went down to a planet and they got in a fight, you know, they got injured, they'd beam back up and the doctor waved the wand and they'd be okay. <laughs> well, I'd been studying frequency medicine for a few years and so I was excited about that. And um, Einstein had said a lot of stuff, but one of the things he said is that the medicine of the future would be frequency medicine. So I was into it, so I was excited. And so I finally got Ron Ledford to consent to telling me how much the biggest package was. Like, what is it, how much? It was a diamond package for only $15.99. I said, I want it. And he told me there was 19 sleeves. But somewhere along the line, he had told me there was, or I'd heard there was, it was $99 a sleeve. Well, I'm pretty good with math. I said, well, that's not $99, that's like 85, it's like cheaper. And so I was really excited, so I went ahead and um, got ready to get on board. And so I grabbed my um, debit card from my personal account. And it was the summer of 2019. And it was 110 in California. So chimney sweeps aren't cleaning a lot of chimneys. So I'm living from paycheck to paycheck. Well, I didn't have enough money in that account. So I went ahead and got my uh, business checking account. And there wasn't enough money in there. So I decided to put them both together. And there still wasn't enough money. So... <laughs> But I wanted this really bad, so I went ahead and I, I had a credit card that I never used. I had one credit card. And so I put that diamond pack on the credit card. I live in California, and my package came probably about three or four days later. It came pretty quick. I was so excited. I got up that morning. I put it on the truck with me, sat the box in the seat, went to start my van. And I had to start my van the same way I'd had to start it for about a year. I had a lot of injuries, um, a lot of things wrong with me. No diseases, but injuries. Um, I was an avid backpacker. I'd hiked a lot of the 40 mile passes in the Sierra, climbed Mount Shasta three times with ice axes and cramp crampons 15,000 feet, cleaned over 50,000 chimneys, and um, worked out with weights most of my life and ran six miles a day for about 30 years. So I was broken down. Um, I'm 67 years old, so it kind of caught up with me. Um, I got to where I couldn't work out in the gym anymore. 10 years had passed, and so I dropped down to about 178 pounds of weight. That was my fighting weight, I guess you'd call it. And so, anyway, went ahead, had the box in the seat, and I reached over 
to start my van, well, this, my biggest problem was, and I had a lot of them, I probably still have some <laughs> mentally, but it was my, it was my right wrist and um, my hand was swelled up half the size of the other hand and the wrist. And I, I don't, I'm not one to go to the doctor, but I went to the doctor and um, he told me that it was a severe problem and he had a name for it, I can't remember. But he was holding my hand when he was telling me, and he was kind of pointing over here and he said, well, we can fix that. And he said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut the bone in half while he's holding my hand. Well, I'm trying to get my hand out of his hand when he's talking about cutting my bone in half. He said, no, wait. He goes, we can do it better. We're gonna go back a little further and cut it again. We're gonna take a piece out. We're gonna put some screws in there and put some glue in there, a plate, and you're gonna be good to go. Well, I was, because as soon as he said good to go, I'd manage to get my hand out. The door was still open and I was running down the hall. So I thought I was going to have to live with that. I didn't know how to fix it. You know, throughout my life, I, you know, broke my hands and cuts and stitched myself and splinted myself up, but I couldn't fix that, you know? So I prayed you know, a lot and, um, and my left arm was actually getting bigger than my right arm because I couldn't use this hand. I'd go to church on Sunday. I couldn't even shake old ladies' hands. They dropped me to my knees. I'm not kidding. It hurt so bad. So. I got in the van, and I started the van with my left hand like I normally did, like this, because this hand's like over here like that, right? And so I put the patch, and I don't read directions of anything, so I put the X-39 patch on my wrist, right? You know, common sense. Dude, within about a, a minute and 30 seconds, the pain went from an eight to a two. Well, that got my attention. I grabbed the steering wheel for the first time in about a year and squeezed it. It's like, this is pretty cool, man. I'm looking at the patch, looking at the box, trying not to get in a wreck. Well, the next 15 minutes, I had so much go on with me, I had to pull over, I couldn't even drive. The sky seemed like it got about 10 times bluer. The leaves on the trees seemed like it got about 10 times greener. Now, I was having brain fog for about a year. Uh, my dad had passed away with dementia and Alzheimer's, and I kind of thought that's what I was getting. I couldn't remember stuff very well. well. All of a sudden, that just went away right then. I could remember stuff and, you know, Thought I was on Star Trek with going down, the sky gets bluer. <laughs> but some more things started happening to me that day. Also, I had more energy than I normally do. And I'm like hot grease on a skillet anyway, if you know me. I didn't need any more energy. I went to bed that night and I slept better than I had in three decades. And I sleep pretty good anyway. So I was excited. I got up that next morning. I mean, I was like, I'd read the directions by then, figured out where to put the pats, right? So... I realized I needed to share this with people. And um, so I started reaching out to people and I'm not a network marketer, so I didn't really know any network marketers, but I knew a lot of people. And so I just started texting people and I decided that I wanted to just resonate and lead with um, X39. I'd heard about the other patches, but I was just focused on what fixed my wrist, right? <laughs> I didn't want to see any more bluer skies and greener leaves, that was enough. <laughs> so, um, I just kept it simple and I just started texting friends and, you know, have you heard about X39? It's changed my life. Watch this short video and get back to me. Well, lo and behold, my phone started blowing up. My social media started blowing up. I ended up selling, I think about 11 diamonds my first month, 20 golds and silvers. Made about $10,500 my first month, not making income claims, but that's what happened, right? You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I was pretty excited because that was the summer of 2019. Every summer is pretty much the same in, um, where I'm like poor. I wasn't broke, I was just poor. And so $10,000 was, you know, one-tenth of what I, you know, made my whole year. And that was a lot. And so I was happy. Talking to Ron Ledford, we talked every day. He was excited. He was doing good. And we both just decided that we wanted to just, you know, focus on X39 and lead with it. And that's what we did. And um, not that there's anything wrong with the other patches are great. But um, we just focused on that and kept it simple. And um, I ended up hitting senior presidential director in 16 weeks. And at the time, that was probably the fastest that it had been, you know, on the planet. 